Okay, so I apologize for my shaky hands. I've got the car set up there. I've wound my rubber band up, so my next job I just gotta do is press the record button. So it's now recording. If you can see what's happened there is we've got a timeline that's tracking and it's going to measure the acceleration of my car as it drives across the room. So what I get is a graph that shows acceleration and deceleration over time. Okay, so I can download that graph as raw data, this thing called a CSV file, and then I can, so I'm gonna just stop recording there a second, and then I can analyze it in more depth. Very cool little program. Yeah, there's a snapshot of what my acceleration was doing and my deceleration. Because you can accelerate, so that's an in, a positive increase, or you can have a change of velocity that goes negative, so deceleration as you're slowing down. And you can use those uh, to form part of a science experiment and to probably improve your design looking at how quickly acceleration was and how long the car was at maximum velocity or and how long it took to slow down. So you kind of want uh, uh, an increase to maximum speed and a slow deceleration to get the maximum distance on your car. So I think in this instance the weight of my car is not really helping me out too much.